Hey everybody! I'm going to start by showing you some of the dry paintings. This is from video 409, which is like the cleaner. Um, I absolutely love it. And it dried like it's so smooth. This little part with that little blue, I think I'll probably touch up. Um, usually I leave those, but since the rest of it is so pristine, it almost looks like you had something on your hands and you touched it. So that's why I'll probably fix that one. So that was 409. This is 410, which similar technique, hair dryer, some straw, straws, blowing on the straws, and love it. There is no silicone in here. I did not use silicone crazy cells and then this is for 11 um, stunning just stunning and if you remember this part I had such a struggle with and I finally used the squeeze bottle of paint and just poured it and dumped it off well the next day I came down and this area was really black and really shiny. Well, it turns out that that bottle had had acrylic in it, um, like the Liquitex Basic acrylic paint. It wasn't the same black that I'd used for the rest of the painting. So what I was happy to, you can, well, you really can't, like here it is up close. It all blended perfect. I painted over it with a sponge and it looks really good um, you can't tell I will be putting resin on it um, and I am definitely going to do another um, black and white string pull because I just think they're really really cool all right so I've tried to do this painting so many times to replicate it and I never have. So I'm going to try again. It was um, blue, red, and yellow um, with uh, WD-40 in the um, cup. And uh, I'm going to try it again, you know, every so often. Oop. So let's see there. So I may lose you a little bit with some of the tilting because I'm using a big canvas. It doesn't even really fit in the washing machine pan. Um, which, for all of you that are new to me, check out the video description. Um, you will see links to Amazon that will take you to um, this. This is a washing machine pan and other goodies. So please check that out. I also have paint mixing videos. Check those out as well. The reds I'm going to use, use Cadmium Red DQ, Liquitex Basic. Um, and I, the blue I used in that was actually, it was a craft paint and it was called Midnight Blue. Um, and I've since tried to find it. It was Craft Smart Midnight Blue. And I can't seem to find it again. So I'm going to take this blue and then, gosh. I think I'm gonna mix it. I think I'll put them in together in here. Um, yeah, the midnight blue was metallic. I'm looking at this and I don't see any metallic though, but I thought I remembered it being metallic. Um, let me find the orange or the yellow is artist loft deep yellow, which I'm also going to supplement that with, um, primary yellow. And mainly I'm doing these and these because I can't remember exactly which shades I use. So I figure, I figure I'll use both yellows and both blue, you know, and it'll be somewhere in between there and I'll get it right. So that's, that's my thinking on the idea. 
I don't recall the red either, but from looking at it, it looks like it was a deep red. It was not a very bright red. Oh. So, made an appointment with a new doctor for my back. Meanwhile, I am right now waiting for some meds to kick in. <laughs> so if I seem a little bouncier in about 10 minutes, it's, they've kicked in. Um, I did water down my white a little bit because the last few pours I tried, the white was so thick that it wasn't flowing correctly. So hopefully this is a good um, consistency. And I just had this darn thing open. Okay, it seems fairly thin, which is good. Oh my God, did you hear my dog bark? She was barking all night last night. And we do not know why. There was nobody outside, nobody anywhere. So it's like from 11 to midnight. So then I was thinking we had ghosts. Because you know, dogs bark at ghosts. If, you know, and then I thought, and then I was like, ooh, maybe it's an intruder who um, came in the house earlier that day and was hiding under the bed. <laughs> you know, it's midnight. Your thoughts kind of get away from you. <laughs> Meanwhile, my husband is snoring. So I hit him. After 45 minutes, he finally gets up. And there was a cat on the front door. Well, not on the front door, but on the front doorstep. And when he like banged on the glass to make it go away, it just came closer. So, I mean, maybe the cat was like Morse coding on the door and Sophie heard it. I don't know. Um, he also said a neighbor was out working on his truck at midnight. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah. So anywho, I don't even know where the heck I was going with that story, but um, my friend at work, Trisha, who is my, because uh, you guys know I'm a para, so she is my, my um, ever faithful leader. She's the teacher in our room. And her daughter, Mackenzie, has been watching my videos and loves them. And so, but now Trisha says that she always hears my voice, like in the backseat of her car. <laughs> And now she knows all my stories. I started to tell her a story today and she finished it for me because I had already said it. So I'm gonna have to start making up a bunch of crap on here so that I can talk to her about my real stuff. <laughs> but um, her daughter is awesome, creative little girl. And she is coming over to my house Saturday to paint. She is so psyched. She loves um, art. And she, and then I told her, I said, well, I told her mom. Um, I said, not only can you come paint, but you can be in the video. So we're very psyched and my friend Trisha will be filming it. So if it's dizzy and looks like crap, it's because she's doing it. Ah, there you go, Trish. Um, but I'm very excited. And I told her mom today to say, you know, does she want to do, because now she knows all the turn, you know, I was like, does she want to do a mallet smash? Does she want to do a, a flip and drag? And does she, you know, what does she want? And she's like, well, she likes the fire. And I said, well, all of them have the fire, but I think I'll probably use the torch just because I feel bad if something happened. Trish should probably be mad and make me make like a hundred thousand copies in the copy room until I die. So, yeah. She's mean like that. I'm torching out the air bubbles.
So I can see right here that there it's thin. I can see the um, canvas, but that's okay. I'm just gonna leave that for now. Um, this is going to be difficult to tilt as you can maybe see, because it's the same size as my pan, I was tilting paint all over the place. So I'm going to open these paints um, and when I pour them into the cup, I'll pour them so you can see, but I'm trying not to get my shirt into this. What I wish I could remember is if I put white in the flip cup for that or not. It kind of looks like I may have. but I honestly don't know. So I'm probably gonna add a little bit of white. So this is WD-40 silicone black can. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Do not get the blue can. It is not silicone, you will not be happy. Um, there it is. Come on. I don't know where that just went. So I just sprayed it in here. It's been so long since I've painted. You've seen me because I've had videos, but I haven't seen any of you. Because I had my trip, Mon or my meeting Monday night for my trip to Israel. And then Tuesday and Wednesday was Yom Kippur. And now it is Thursday. And as I said, I think I'm gonna put a little white in here. I, I really wish I, I mean, I made that before I ever started making or even thinking about videos. So I'm having to guess. dark so I'm gonna put some more white in that. Oh man, that's not good. All the flakes just came off from my thing. <sighs> I gotta fix this stuff. Hang on. This is not right. <laughs> not right at all. I think I had way too much color. Boy. Well, this is all bare and this is all bare. So I do have a lot of filling in stuff that needs to be done. So it still could change. I really don't like that red up there though. I'm not having a whole lot of confidence in this one currently. So 
except I'm kind of getting a cool spirally thing. And if that continues down, that could be fairly interesting. So I'm just going to keep it at this slight tilt. It's probably more than slight, actually. Because this is still totally bare. Ugh! I'm dripping on myself now. Except I really don't like this. So. I have a feeling that this will probably be poured off. Can't say for sure yet, but oh, that was a silicone bubble. There's way too much paint in that flip cup. Exactly not what I was going for. Oh, never going to get that. <laughs> Gosh, this isn't even anything similar to that. Okay, so maybe there wasn't white in the flip cup and a lot less paint, I'm guessing. Cells coming out. I'm trying to think. If I just had white, if I Now I'm just tilting it the other way to see what happens. I think if I can get enough tilted off, maybe I can do another pour on top. Yeah, there's definitely too much paint in that flip cup. <laughs> it was a big cup I used and I didn't take that into consideration. I'm liking what's going on down here though. That's kind of cool. Maybe I can keep some of that stuff. Like, I don't even know if you guys can see this.
just wipe all of this off. I don't even know why I'm trying to save any of this, quite frankly. I've decided I want this off. like Cat in the Hat had that cleaned up all of the messes at the end. all of that off. I have to until I'm back to you.
So it's not like looking at all like the other one, but I am liking it now. All fixed. So there are other cells popping out all over. It's kind of cool though. It just caused a whole bunch of. So definitely not what I was going for, but I end up ended up liking the second edition of this pour. Let me take you off of here so I can get you in a little closer. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.